Welcome. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to point your Google domain over to your new data website. So you can set it as a custom domain over there. So go ahead and go to domains.google and that link as well as any other links will be in the description below for you. Go ahead and click on sign in. And then you're going to want to log in to whatever account you purchased your Google domain with. All right, so when you sign in, you should see something similar to this. Uh, you should have it highlighted on my domains and whatever domains you have will be listed here. Um, so go ahead and next to the one that you want to manage, you're going to go ahead and click on manage. And over here on the left, you'll see DNS. We're going to go ahead and click on there. And then you want to make sure it's default name servers and that that is active. If not, you'll see something over here to um, choose these settings or something like that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and basically create this from scratch. So how you're going to do that. So again, default name servers, and then you should see custom records, and then we're going to go ahead and click on manage custom records, and this allows you to make changes and edits, and you want to go ahead and do your A records, and you'll actually do them as just one record. Um, so this you'll actually leave blank. So you see um, the at symbol that Duda wants you to put in there is actually a default for Google domains. So we're going to leave that blank and uh, make sure that that says A. I went ahead and just left that as a default um, setting. And then these you're going to find on that Duda support page, which is also in the description for you. So here we, we need, um, so you're going to want to go ahead and copy uh, this a record information and then go ahead and paste it there and again with your second one go ahead and copy and then paste there um, as you go after you do your first one you're going to have to go ahead and click this add more to this record and then go ahead and paste in there so you should actually have two records here so it looks a little bit different than uh, some other domain websites. Normally, other ones you have separate entries, but this one it groups any of the same type together. Uh, so it should look like this for your A records. And then we're going to go ahead and add our C name. Um, so for this one, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure if you need to, go ahead and create a new record. And then go ahead and type in the www. And then this is another confusing part is it doesn't say CNAME, it says CNA dot dot dot. But when we click on it, the CNAME populates. And then you're going to want to go ahead and grab uh, this information here. Go ahead and copy it. And then you're going to go ahead and paste it into there. So when you're ready, um, what you've inputted should look like this. And I only deleted it because I already had it. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and click on save when that's all done. And it should look nice and happy. And make sure that this says uh, this nice green box and that everything is set up correctly. So at this point, your website should um, be pointed correctly or URL, your domain name, uh, to your website as long as you have published your Doodle website and um, told Duda as well, changed your, uh, changed it to a custom URL uh, or domain name and make sure that you have it in there um, on your Duda settings as well. So that's it for this video and I hope you found it helpful.